Hi, I'm Joe Kwan, the Connection Counselor, and welcome to another episode of Executive Tune-Up, where we make small adjustments that can lead to big improvements in your leadership performance. Have you ever noticed that there can be a big discrepancy between how you listen to some people and in some situations versus others? And that when you're able to listen more deeply and um, hear better what people are saying, it often really gets you better results. But it can actually be very positive in today's busy notification, you know, laden world uh, to really give people full attention. And you may have even taken a training or a course on something like active listening, which I think is great. Uh, but what I find is sometimes when I'm trying to employ uh, techniques out of a training, it can actually feel really artificial and weird. Um, and it actually makes it harder for me to listen because I'm trying so hard uh, to employ the techniques. So what I want to share with you today is a way you can do that a little bit more naturally using some principles um, so you can listen better uh, for better results. So stay tuned. So today we're going to talk about the act of listening, and each principle is in the letter A, C, and T. So what you may notice is uh, our intention when we're listening uh, makes a big difference in the results and how we're able to listen. And the interesting thing is if you just say to yourself, listen, 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 um, that often doesn't work very well. It often feels very forced and your mind almost rebels against itself and you're like you're telling yourself to listen and you automatically get more distracted. So the three principles I'm going to share with you today actually I feel uh, and have experienced allow you to listen in a much more organic, natural manner uh, so you can hear better, you can feel more comfortable, other people will uh, perceive it as being more natural and comfortable and you'll have a much better result uh, and a much better conversation. So the first part of ACT that I want to share with you is to allow. And when I say allow in the conversation, I mean don't be trying to listen or don't try to listen for anything too specifically. And, and don't try to listen at a certain proficiency like, okay, I remember every single syllable that this person uttered and sort of the cadence and accent with which they did it. Think of yourself more like um, a piece of driftwood uh, in the ocean or a river just floating along wherever the conversation may take you. And here's one challenge I have um, where I'm not allowing things that makes things worse, especially when I'm interviewing people for uh, a podcast where I'm constantly trying to come up with and hold the next question rather than allowing the next question to come to me. Because sometimes what can happen is while a person's talking, you may be thinking one thing and you kind of like lock on to that idea. But by the time they're finished speaking, they're actually on to something totally different. So if you stay locked on to that previous thing and ask them about it, it actually seems like you're not listening, right? So what you really want to do is relax, right? Like that piece of driftwood going down the river and just allow wherever the conversation goes to go. And when it comes time for you to talk because you're relaxed and just allowing it to go, whatever comes out is going to be the natural next step in the conversation. The next thing I want to share with you is to really connect with the person overall. The person not just with the words that they're saying, not just with uh, their facial expressions, not just with their body language. A lot of these techniques will try to add on nuances and say, you know, look at this or observe this and, and this means this and, and this means this. And your mind just gets cognitively overloaded um, trying to connect too much with theory and principles and it's almost like you have um, some sort of diagnostic that you're trying to fill out instead of having uh, a conversation and, and listening. So instead, uh, the way I like to think about it is just connect to the person. Like, what kind of presence are you getting from them? 
how do they seem? Do they seem comfortable? Do they seem excited? Do they seem tired or scared? Just connect with them as a human being. So that includes everything, right? Even beyond the words, it includes the energy that you kind of feel for them. It includes how they're speaking and, and not just the words that they're saying. And of course, it, it, it includes uh, maybe the way their posture is, but not so much to dissect their posture or to try to read them like a poker player, um, but just to kind of take that all, let your senses take that all in and you'll get a better sense of what's actually going on with them without having to try to cap, crack um, some sort of super code like you're, like you're a spy or a CIA interrogator. The last part uh, of the ACT principles is to transform. So what happens is when you connect to someone and you're really listening to them, then the things that they say and the things that you learn will actually transform you. Your, if you think about your kind of outer shell of your consciousness or who you think you are, as you make that connection with the person, it actually expands. And you don't sort of lose yourself, but you actually become a bigger version of yourself, which can include this person as well. And the interesting thing that happens is if they are also open and connecting to you, they become transformed as well. So it's a natural principle that when two people are connected, right, through through really listening and and sort of getting into sync with each other, any movement or motion of one person will transform the other person. Because if you think about gears that are connected together, they're separate and they're individual and they can turn in opposite directions. But when they're really connected and connected well together, when one turns, the other naturally turns with it. So you will naturally be transformed through the act of better listening. Well, my name is Joe Kwan, the Connection Counselor, and thanks for coming to Executive Tune-Up. Hope this has been helpful to you and that you have better listening and better conversations through these principles and much more uh, natural. For those of you who know me, I am I really don't like checklists and, and methodologies for people. If you just really understand the basic principles uh, and try them out and practice them, you can have a much more natural uh, conversation and you don't get overloaded cognitively trying to memorize something and you just seem awkward uh, when, when you're trying too hard that way. So uh, hopefully the ACT uh, acronym will help you remember it and you'll have a better result. So remember, to be at your best, to do your best, you have to be at your best. So tune in to tune up.